Selma District Chamber of Commerce went by us a few moments ago with their 2006 Excellence in Agricultural Award winner, and that was, uh, we're glad to see that. Also coming up, we've got Valley Christian Academy and Preschool rolling in front of us. We, you know, the whole community here at Selma comes out for this parade and for the festivities today. We get to see a little of everything that goes on here in Selma. It, it's a real community uh, uh, activity. Not only just the, the Selma people, but other towns uh, participate as well. Not as many as I think there should be. I think there'd be a... I, you you know, want to see more. Well, you know, you have to give, you have to give the judges a, enough time to come up with their uh, adjudicating. So, well, that's true. That's, that's true. So the, the fillers that we have in here give the people an opportunity that are uh, standing on the sidelines to uh, to uh, see something and break up the uh, the judges' uh, uh, what should I say their thoughts. Their thoughts. Uh, give them time. Give them time to kind of clear everything and make sure that the next man is getting a, a, an equal shot at it. Uh, you know, John, since all these competitions are, are going, I think it's, uh, you know, we always introduce the referees on the uh, uh, at the football. Event. Yes. Um, Frank Fox is the head of this, uh, of these 10 judges uh, today. And he's from the, uh, what they call the Southern California Judging Association. There's a northern, northern uh, uh, California judge. Yep. So, I mean, they're all over the place, right. associations. That was part of the. Uh, I was I was part of that when I go when I went to high school. So I grew up down in the suburbs of Los Angeles. The, the SCSBLA, Southern right. California School Band and Orchestra Association. Now there's some adjudicating. There's some some uh, some bands that prefer going to other competitions depending on who the judges are there. Ooh, so there are celebrity so judges. There are celebrity judges. So uh, it's it's hard to hard to figure out which one they they'll all be uh, uh, happy with. The band directors generally, you know, they, they have their own... They have their own favorites? Is they have their own saying? favorites. Yeah. Are you saying that they don't just throw their bands into any old competition? And... No, it's not, like, it's not like going to a, to a sporting event where you take the judges that they give you, you know. <laughs> you get to or, uh, <laughs> So we have good judges in Selma, and that's why we get such a great turnout of that. That's correct. Oh, they must do a wonderful job. Sunnyside High School has stepped to the competition line. And they are in a different, now this is a completely different mode for startup. They are in, they are right down the center line. They're not spread out across the street. There are no lines and columns and diagonals. We, we assume that they're going to, they're going to Go uh, explode, explode and, that and we'll, single rank into. Uh, and we'll find out from Randy right now. Yeah. Ladies and High School is Fresno Unified School District's newest school. And today the Wildcat Band and Color Guard present to you Grand Island Parade by Eric Osterling. Special thanks to the Selma Rotary Club from Sunnyside for another outstanding venue. The Wildcat Band is under the direction of Jason Orchard, and leading the band into competition is the drum major, Brittany German. The flag captain is Jenna Wen, and the letter, head letter girl is Tasha Wazalit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Sunnyside High School Wildcat Band.
speech path. We talk about the auxiliary units, which are the letter carriers, the flags, a baton twirler, all that stuff, are also in competition as well. And in this case, in the Sunnyside Band, we saw that not only had an interesting step off, it had drama to the performance, which is part of what they're scored on, but also that almost a whole dance routine by our auxiliary units afterwards. They're still nice. performing. And they're still performing. They are still, even though the band, of course, the band's now about a half mile down the street, these girls are going to have to hurry to catch up. The Sunnyside, nice to the, the effect of the uh, the letter carriers with it says Sunnyside and then they flip them over and it says Wildcats on the other side. And now they're running back to catch the band. <laughs> <laughs> the Wildcats are making a run for it.